Okay, the first step in preparing the lid is to cut out the center nub on the inside. I'm not sure why, but that's what the instructions say. And uh, cut it out with a razor blade. You can also melt it down like the instructions say with a soldering iron. Then I'm going to prepare the lid by using a template as my guide and mark the holes with a sharpie according to the template. And all the measurements are in here. You'll get that with that with the ebook. And first thing you need to do obviously is mark the center so we have a reference point to measure. And once you have that done, then you can measure from the center, mark all the points, and draw them onto the lid, and then the next step is to drill them to the specified uh, dimensions. I think it's uh, seven thirty seconds and a quarter inch are the two different size holes that we need to drill. So once that's done, we will be ready to drill. This is uh, one method to do it. It's a, not 100% accurate, but it's as accurate as you need to be. Another method you could use is to uh, use the actual drawing that's in the guide, print it out, and cut out the center to um, use as a template. Here's the finished one that I just did. And now this is, I made a copy of the template. I'm going to cut it out with the scissors because it matches the size of the lid exactly. As you can see here. And then we will tape the template to the top and mark the holes. And it will be nice and quick and easy. It takes a little bit of extra work, but the uh, once you have the template, then you can reuse it to uh, make other lids if you need to uh, make more than one electrolyzer. So now that I've cut it out, I'm going to take some, poke the holes through with the tip of a pen. And then once we have it affixed to the top, we can go ahead and put a sharpie through and make our marks on the holes that the pen made. We've done that, and we tape it to the top. Two pieces of tape, one on, one on top, one on bottom, should be sufficient to just to hold it in place. And we'll take our sharpie and just press it through the hole that we made with the pen, and all the spots marked. Now we just need to remove the template and make the marks bigger so they're more clear. We just take the sharpie and make the holes bigger. I mean the holes, the marks bigger. And this will be easier to reference when we drill. And that's it. So that way it takes a little bit more work, but it will be a lot more accurate to the template. I'm going to put them both here side by side so you can see them. And here's the one I did with the ruler, and here's the one I did with the template. And here's just a picture of the template for you to review. I know you can't really read it, but it's a generalization of what it should look like when you have the lid laid out. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little guide on how to prepare the lid for the electrolyzer. Next, next videos will be the electrolyzer parts.